Hi everybody, Bef before we get this episode going, this is my 30th episode! Wow! Well anyway, I'm, I'm happy for all of you who are watching it. Thank you for watching all these episodes and enjoy! Let Gun Shooter Month continues as I review the PlayStation Gem Elemental Gear Bolt coming up on Power Up! Episode Light Gun Shooter Month continues as I take to take a look at the Sony PlayStation Light Gun Shooter, with the weird name of course, Elemental Gear Bolt. Well, anyway, let's take this is a really enjoyable game. It has an awesome soundtrack and really fun gameplay. Well, let's let, let, let's go shoot some stuff, shall we? Elemental Gear Bolt was released in 1998 for the PlayStation 1. Unlike other light gun shooters, where you need to reload your ammo, you don't need to here. Instead, you are limited to how fast you can fire your weapon, which makes the player focus on being more accurate with their shots as a result. There are three weapons to choose from in Elemental Gear Bolt. A basic, very high-powered shot the manual calls it Blaze Phoenix, kind of like a fire shot or whatever. A spread shot called Thunder Tiger, which I'm guessing has like thunder properties or something. And a rapid machine gun type shot called Water Snake, which I'm guessing it has like a water elemental thing. And of course, yes, as I just mentioned, they are elemental. This game isn't called Elemental Gear Bolt for nothing. Another thing I like about this game is its music. It was done symphonically, or for, 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 a, for a symphony. It's really cool. I actually like, what is it now? I think it's stage 5. I think it's stage 5. Where there's even a chorus or a choir singing as you, you know, pick off these enemies. There's like a full on chorus, you know, doing its thing or here are you go you going ba bam ba bam ba bam it's a really cool another one of my favorites is I think stage four or whatever uh, the planes of regret and that's a really cool Lords of Arabia type theme or some adventure type theme that is also really cool as well for the game story it can be complex to explain so I'll let you, like, you can look it up on Google or YouTube or whatever. But it's pretty intense. It has to do with a king who, I believe, I guess, there are these two different races. I, I don't know what exactly, they can't hard to explain. But the crown prince of this planet was a half-breed, was half and half of these breeds. And I guess he wanted to unite the, the world of the kingdom somehow and... I guess this, one of these other two chicks got killed and this computer uh, this computer did a self-destruct or something and turned these two dead chicks into like really awesome robot things or whatever but all I know is it is really really awesome <laughs> I'm sorry I, the story is kind of complex but it's really cool and, and and what's really cool is the anime type sequences after each level. It's kind of like watching a little cartoon. It's pretty neat, or anime cartoon or whatever. Really, really good stuff and awesome too. And also at the end of each scene or level, there is RPG elements. As you beat the enemies in the game, you get you, you can decide how to distribute your 
points or your experience of sorts, you can either get more experience, which allows you to, you know, get better health and other crucial stuff. I th well, most notably, health and how powerful your, your guns are, I think, don't put me on it. Or, you can go the other half, the other way, and just get a really high score. So you can be like an Elemental Baron, or an Elemental Viscount, which is awesome. And also, hopping around in the main levels, there are these green capsule globe thingies. That I don't know what you call them, uh, these green things, to either have health, or at least fairies. And these fairies, if you get all of them in a, in a level, you get to get 200,000 points. It really helps go towards your score, which is pretty neat. And a couple of times, I think twice, I think in this review, I don't know if I'm trying this, but twice I was able to get all, all the fairies hidden in, in the levels to get a really high score. And also there are chalices to find, which also do stuff, I guess, as well, which also, I think, unlock stuff, or I forget how it goes, but those are also hard to find, and they only appear for a brief second, so you gotta be quick when you shoot them. And also to note, this game, I haven't really found it too much out in the wild, per se. There was a, let me see here, there was a special giveaway this, uh, this company that made this game did, where the winners could get a special assassin's case where it had a copy of the game and a gold gun con but those, those are very rare and I think they go for quite 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 expensive so and thankfully then this copy that I reviewed the game with was given to me by a friend and he he I had a spare copy so he gave it to me which is cool but if you can find it and again if you have a CRT, you know, an old school TV, please get this game. It's good fun, it has a two player mode so you and your friend can go at it. It's good stuff. So please get this game if you can. I highly recommend it. So please get it if you can. And as usual, before we wrap things up again as usual, if you live in or around the South St. Paul, Minnesota area, or the Twin Cities, Minnesota metro area in particular, please be sure to visit my good friends at Level Up Games. And here's, and as usual, here's their website and their address. Kind of love that. And if if you're seeing this on YouTube, please rate and subscribe to my channel. And also, I have a Facebook fan page, and that is the Facebook search Skake and Bacon Media, and please like my page. It's good stuff. And also, I'm also on t t Twitter as well, but I think, well, that that, that, that should be also below. That's my, t <laughs> my, sorry, my stuttering, my Twitter feed, which is actually linked to my Facebook fan page, so it's all good. And also, I have a website which I do the, the show and other projects in the past and I have a stop motion animation set as well which I have a couple projects I did as well and those two sites are skakeandbacon.com slash skakeandbaconmedia and that's for my live action stuff like the show and my stop motion site is skakeandbacon.com slash sba well Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for another episode of Power Up!